I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Oh, honest, man. Exactly. Peace of Christ to all of you. And please invite your friends. And today our topic about the Trinity. You know, the Muslims always, they come to us and they give us their logic about Trinity. As an example, God cannot be three. Like how, can, how God can be three and one at the same time? And you know, the answer for that is it, it doesn't take even two seconds. The one who question God, how he can be, that means he do not believe in God and he have no God. Because God is the last one you can ask him how you can do that. <laughs> so the Muhammadan, they are very, very funny in their logic. The IQ of Muhammad is infecting every IQ of his followers. Very low IQ. When a Muhammadan, he say, how God can be three and one in the same time? Well, how God can resurrect people from death? How people can create you from nothing? How God, I mean, let us ask questions then, you know, as long as you want to ask questions, as long as you are asking the question of ability. The same question proved to us that Muhammadan are pagan and they don't believe in God, neither in the power of God or the ability of God. So many Christians, they do not know really how to answer because they are not they don't listen carefully what the Muslim is saying. The Muslim is giving you the answer. The Muslim is shooting himself in the foot. The Muslim is proving to you that he is a stone worshippers. How a stone can be three and one at the same time? It cannot. But God can. How Allah can be one and the three in the same time? He cannot. Because Allah is false God. You see, the second we say God, we speak about the Almighty. If you ask the Muslims, is Allah Almighty? They will say yes. But your God cannot be three and one at the same time. Can he? The answer, no. The Quran actually gave us a very clear answer about Allah. Him himself is a question himself. And what he is a question? He is a question in his ability. No, we are typing in English. Have you ever heard of a God? He questioned his ability. I question my ability to make a comment to you because simply I have a limited ability. I'm a human being, so I cannot claim that I can fly because a human being cannot fly. If I'm a bird, I can. So it doesn't mean I'm God if I can fly. But questioning my ability about doing things is a clear proof that Allah cannot be God. So why Allah, uh, he don't have a, a son? The Quran says, well, Allah, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> you know, in, in the front of us on the screen, we are searching for the word sahib, 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 sahib. You see all those words sahib, sahib mean friend. If you say sahiba, you mean girlfriend, as you see. Sahib, ashab, all those like it coming from one word, which mean friends. But the Quran in chapter 6, verse 101 says, how can he, he who, Allah, how can he have a children when he has no wife? And that is telling us why Muslims are following a stupid prophet, literally stupid. This man, he just armed us with a clear weapon to rip Allah apart and take every screw from this screwed God. Because if he is the originator of the heaven and the world, and the earth, 
How in the world you ask yourself, how can he have a children when he don't have a wife? Do God need a wife to have a children? And who said that the God of the Christians, he had a wife in order to have Jesus? I mean, what kind of refutation such a refutation is? And this is shown us not only Muslim today, still they don't understand Christianity. Their God, Akka Muhammad, both are a bunch of foolish. If there is a single Christian believe that God, he have a wedding party with Mary and they have honeymoon, they went to Hawaii and then they have a baby after that, his name is baby Jesus. Is that what the Christian believe? But when we read carefully, what so-called God saying, remember, this is not my words and this is not my translation. Muslim will be upset always when you read for them. They're a stupid book. And I love reading, read the stupidity of their God. It hurt their feeling, but what can you change the book? Change it already, you change a lot. Take it off, take this verse off. Who is the one saying the word, how can? Allah. Have you ever heard of a God say to himself, how can I do this? when I don't have this? Allah went inside his garage and he decided to make a car battery. But he look, I don't have uh, lithium. I don't have a box. I don't have the metal to make the positive and the negative. How I can make a battery? That work for a human being who need material and in, the, in this case here a woman is a material because what 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 uh, what Allah is saying me by myself I cannot do it I need a girlfriend you see the Muslim translation says wife that is a false translation sahiba sahiba never was a wife if you ask a Muslim, how many Sahiba your Prophet says, they will be upset. Sahiba is a mistress, is a girlfriend, is a woman in the bed. She is not yours. So how can he have what? Have a children's. And by the way, uh, this is a false translation. Because here it says walad in Arabic. Walad is a child, not children's. This is why you cannot trust Muslim translations. Muslims are anyone who do the business of Islam. He is a Muslim, he's a liar. It's a must. Like if I change the translation, this is Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. All of them are Muhammad. And then if we go, let us say, to another translation, let us say Muhammad Itani. Let us see Muhammad Itani, what Muhammad Itani will say. Hey Muhammad Itani, where are you? Hmm. See? Have a son, not children's. There's a huge difference between children's and son. So how can he have a son when he never had a companion? Look at the translation. The one before it, it was saying wife. Here it's a companion. So what we understand from the logic of the one who is speaking, which is supposed to be Allah, Allah by himself is in this ability. He cannot have a son unless he have a companion. And this is stripping the God of Islam from the word God, or he need a woman like me. I am a man, I don't have a wife, I don't have a girlfriend. How I can have a son? Very simple. But remember, the stupid Muhammad, when he made this verse, claiming that Allah told him this refutation, he forgot that his God supposedly is God. So how in the world is God? He cannot have a son without having a wife. 
a Muslim he sent a question to a Muslim website Islam and answer questions what is the question the Muslim is asking how come in Islam we don't understand the Trinity of the Christians what is the concept of Christian Trinity that the Quran declare to be false and then he's asking in various places in the Quran Christians are uh, condemned for saying that Allah is a third of a three chapter 4 verse 171 but in chapter Al-Ma'idah verse 573 when we read the verse it's assumed that they refer to the Christian Trinity as Father and Son and Holy Spirit in chapter 5 verse number 73 it says that let us go and see Just to show you the confusion of this cult. It's the most stupid religion ever. Seventy-three. All right. Well, as I know, there's no air. It says what this guy is saying. Where it says God is uh, Holy Spirit. See, didn't even understand their book. Where in the verse here it says that this verse claiming that the Christian believe in God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Nowhere. Nowhere. So even the Muslims, when they read their own books, they have zero understanding of their book. However, this guy who's asking the question, he continues saying, in the book of Tafsir, he state that they meant here that the Christians claim that Allah is was the third with the Isa and Maryam. <laughs> so the Muslim here is saying, well, I understand that there that the Christian, they have a three as God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But the Quran meant that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Wife. Do you see it, people? By the way, stay with me in the topic. Anyone will ask questions out of the topic, I'm going to block you. We made the chat running, but we don't want people to ask questions. When we finish, if we say, okay, guys, we're done, you any question, then you can ask questions. Focus on the topic. So this Abdul is getting them busted, saying, "Well, how in the how in hell the Quran meant that the uh, uh, Isa is one of the three, and Allah is one, Isa is one, and Mary is God the wife." And he's asking, "Is that the preferring for a specific group?" And sect? That's a good question. There is sect believe that Mary is God, but there is no sect like that. Never exist. You see, we have a Christians who highly think of of Mary, yeah, but nobody believe that Mary is God. And then he says, as in the case of the Jews claiming that Uzair is the son of Allah. But in the case of the Jews, the Quran says the Jews believe Uzair, not one. The Jews, all the Jews. And the Quran did not say a sect believe in this. He said the Christians believe. And actually, the Quran never used the word Christian. He used the word Nasara. Which Muhammad have different explanation for it. Why? Jesus, he said, who is going to be my helpers? The disciple says, we are your helpers. And this is where Nasara came from, because supposedly in Arabic, Nasara and Sar mean helpers, which is a very funny logic. The, the stupid Muhammad, he do not understand that there is a, there is a Christian sect 
out of the line were called the Nazareth as a word mean the poor not Nazareth the city the poor they are not poor because they don't have money they are poor because they have a poor understanding of Christianity and most likely Muhammad he copied from that that name from there and he think he got his own conclusion about where it's coming from he make it an Arabic name when all of us we knew that Christianity have nothing to do with the Arab and not a single name there is an Arabic name not a single word so the Quran says the Jews believe that Hosea son of Allah we could not find one Jewish sect the Muslim to fix that they say there was one Jew there was one Jew believe that Allah has a son his name is Hosea but if you go in the Quran you will find that Hosea is not a single Jew believe in him or the Quran says the Jews not a Jew the Jews say he didn't say some of the Jews he didn't say one of the Jews he says the Jews so the Muslims again they are finding stupid mistakes in their Quran and obviously Muhammad is an idiot he say things is not valid and not a true not a single Jew and by the way here the name the translation they say Ezra that is false nowhere this is Uzair there's a huge difference between Uzair and Ezra how Uzair became Ezra and where which book which book of the Jews in any book of history says that the Jews they worship a man his name is Uzair he is a son of Allah and which Jews believe in Allah anyway do you remember when Mimi Hijab was debating David Wood Mimi Hijab he said not a single Jew not a single Jew believe that God have a son <laughs> Not a single Jew. <laughs> and here, you know, David Wood, because he is not good in debating, he is very horrible in debating. He missed the opportunity to give him the biggest screw driver ever. You should say to him, you idiot, don't you know the Quran? The Quran says that Jews worship Uzair. And you are saying to me, not a single Jew. But as usual, you know, uh, David Wood is good to make in video, but in debate, it's hummus. Like Muhammad Hijab, like Uthman, like all of them, they are hummus. The Jews say, Uzair is a son of Allah. So why in the interpretation says there is one Jew? One Jew. Because the Muslim, they were embarrassed. They could not find a single Jew. And who is that Jew? Who, say, so now the Quran, he want to speak about the Jews because of one Jew. Look like this guy, he was following his own religion. One Jew. But the book in the front of you says the Jews. Do Allah speak good Arabic? Or maybe Allah is a Turkish man. Aman Rabbi Aman. So when the Quran says the Jews and the Christians, that mean all the Jews and all the Christians. And he continue asking how in the world, you know, this is happening when the Christians, they believe that God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit. This is not their Trinity. So we were refuting who exactly? <laughs> You know what I mean? We were refuting who? And by the way, if you are a Muhammad and you'd like to join me live on a year, my Skype is open. All right? If you are a Muhammadan, you like to join me live to say your say, to refute us maybe, you are welcome.
And here, you know, the Muslim scholar supposedly, supposedly this is a, a site run by scholars, and I found it very funny what kind of a scholar they are. Firstly, look at the answer. Firstly, Allah may be exalted saying, says, interpretation of the meaning. What interpretation of the meaning? Surely disbelievers are those who say that Allah is a third of a three in Trinity. But there is no ilah to be worshipped but Allah. So, and if the key, if they sees not from what they say, verily we will punish them. Chapter 5, verse number 73. Ibn Kathir, may Allah have mercy on him, said, the correct view of this was revealed concerning the Christian in particular, as was stated by Mujahid and others. Then the scholars differed concerning that. As usual, the Muslim, they differed about anything. I mean, the Quran says, this is the book, we made it a clear details. <laughs> you know, we... <laughs> What Allah he did, he he made the book, uh, in, in you know in great, great details. I mean nobody can explain the Quran better than Allah, right? So, chapter six verse number ninety seven says we made the Quran in the clear details. Uh, six ninety eight, six ninety seven, uh, six one one twenty one. Uh, six, uh, seven, uh, thirty-two. Uh, let us see this one. This one is short. You know, this is short. Hmm. Chapter seven, verse number fifty-two. Certainly, we have a brought to them a book between two brackets, the Quran, which have we explained in details. <laughs> I mean, the book is explained in details. And then the scholars, they disagree, and they differ about the mean of every verse in the Quran. Have you ever heard of a failure of someone he called himself God more than this? So what kind of explanation you did? As long as you explain it in details, why we have a billion explanation and they disagree with each other? And the funny is that in the same explanation, they say the scholars, they differ about that. So where is the explanation? That's mean we have a different explanation. So we don't have explanation. Because if we don't agree about explanation, that's mean there's no explanation. They are different. But the Quran says, Allah, he made the book explained in a great details. We ask the Muslim, what does that verse mean? They say, Allah knows best. Okay, what about the verse after it? Allah knows best. Okay, what about the verse before it? Allah knows best. Okay, what about the verses, the 50 verse before it? Uh, read Ibn Kathir. Okay, but Ibn Kathir, he disagree with Al-Qurtubi. Al oh, they are different. So which one is the correct uh, Allah knows best so here we notice that the stupid God of Islam do not understand the Trinity so how we can expect someone like Zakir Naik to know even what the Trinity is if his God think that Mary is part of the Trinity. And if this Abdul want to say to us, at that time, there is some Christians, they believe that Mary, she was God. Where are they? Those are not Christians then. You see, uh, we have, we as a Christians, uh, today there is many uh, false religions like Jehovah's Witnesses. Are they Christians? They are not. They are not. Mormon. Are they? They are not. So, so how you call them Christians if they are not Christians? And how you say the Christians? So we're in the Quran speaking about the Christians then. If the Quran is speaking about certain group, 
That means the Quran never refuted the majority of the Christians and never spoke about them. And that would be stupid because you refute a little tiny group if it exists, which is not. And you ignore to refute the massive believers in numbers. And here we see Zuzu, peace be upon him. Brother and sister, let us examine the Trinity in the scientifically. Someone says that there is water, the water can be so snow, the water can be ice, and the water can be steam. But brother, water, when become steam, is different structure. And God don't change. God don't change. You stupid idiot, potato. Isn't it the Bible says that God created Adam in his image? Which means from the beginning, God image is image of a man. And not only that, isn't it your stupid prophet? He copy exactly the same phrase from the Old Testament. And he says, Allah, he created Adam in his image. Exactly as the Bible says. And then Muhammad, he added that Adam was 60 meter tall. And I wonder why he's short. I'm so I, I was going to be proud of him, but he is so short now. What the hadith says, he reported that Allah Messenger saying, when any of you fight, he must avoid the face. For God created Adam in his own image. Do you see it? Do you see it, people? So when this is stupid, he says, well, God don't change. If God, he changed, this means he is not God. And uh, well, uh, a man is a man. If I take right now, I will copy this. God created Adam in his own image. And I will post it in Google. What, what I will find? I will find the Bible. Can you believe it? I will find the Bible. I just posted that. Here we go. In my screen. God created Adam in his own image. What I found? Genesis 1.27. And you will find that in Genesis, not only God saying, so God created Adam in his own image. He repeat that twice. In his image, he created him. The Muslim to solve this problem, they say, no, 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 no. Uh, what, what the prophet saying, that Allah, he created Adam in the same image he had. This is stupid. So God created Adam in the same image he had. What does that mean? Don't we know already that God created Adam? What do you mean in same image he had? And why you avoid beating the face? Oh, because Adam, he had the face of Adam. This is even more stupid. So what about the ass of Adam? Isn't it the same ass we have? Does it make a difference, the face of the ass? But because this man is a thief, his followers are thieves, and they do not explain, they cannot explain. Muhammad is the same as a person he claimed that he knew physics. A student, he put his hand up, he asked a question about physics. How your donkey fly? Muhammad, he say, Allah is capable of everything. Can Allah have a son? No, Allah is not capable. <laughs> Can Allah change from being not a man to be a man? No, Allah cannot do that. <laughs> So in one hand, they say Allah is capable of anything he wants. Two seconds after, they say Allah is not capable, is impotent. Do you see why we laugh at your logic, Muhammadan? Right? Uh, Mr. Uh, Atheist, maybe later when we finish the topic, you are welcome to ask me the question, no problem.
So as you see here, the Muslims are in denial. And when a Muslim, he says, how God can be one and three. Well, what is impossible for you, you idiot, is not impossible for God. This is what God is about. Same time, even you as a human being is a three and one in the same time. Actually, if you go here, when this guy, he was asking a question, if you go in the top, you will see here this guy, his mission, in chapter 4, verse 171. If we go to chapter 4, verse 171, what we will find? Let's read. And remember, this is the Muslim trans uh, translation. This is the Quran. This is Allah is talking. This is not Christian prince. This is not Christian prince. Don't, which means don't listen to me. Listen to what it says there. Listen to your book, if you have one. Do you? So if you read here, and you can choose any translation you want. I mean, those people, they make translations so long, the edit words is not there. So I just I chose shorter one. Yusuf Ali. All the people commit no excuse or excesses in your religion, nor say of Allah, but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary. Here we are, we have to stop. Why Christ Jesus is the son of Mary? Any Muslim can tell us? Who, where is the father? In Islam, there is no way to explain what is the point of Mary being virgin. First, there is no way to prove it because my mother, she can claim to be virgin when she gave birth to me. Your mother, she can claim that. This is a miracle nobody can see. So what the point? In Christianity, it makes sense. For this is the Son of God. And when he came to us in the flesh, Jesus called himself the Son of Man. For he is born from his father, not from a man. Jesus, he asked the Jews, what say you? About the Messiah. They said he is son of David. And you will notice that even the Christian, they say that too. Son of David, son of David, son of David. People call him son of David. Why? Because David is a, one of the greatest, uh, glorious kings of Israel. But if we go in the Bible, let us open the Bible. Give me a second. In John chapter 8. We will find the following. Let us have it in the screen. I hope that text is coming clear to you. However, in case it's not, I will post the translation in the chat so you can open it with me. This is the Aramaic. It's way better translation than other translations. But Yeshua went to the Mount of Olives. This is the story when he went to the Mount of Olives. Let us go down. You will see here Jesus right away. Yeshua spoke to them and he said, I am the living God. Most of translation says I am. But the fact each time Jesus says I am, I am saying I am as Yahweh. 
which mean I am the living God who exists by himself. I am the light of the world. Whoever follow me, he shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. But let us continue down. And here again, Jesus, he repeat that he is the living God. But if we go down a little bit, we will find something very interesting. The Judans were saying to him, who are you? Who are you? That is a good question. Who are you? And then we read Jesus after saying, I am the living God. Not only that, I am the Son of God. I do nothing of my own pleasure, but just as my Father has taught me, so I am speaking. And he has sent me, is with me. He claimed that the Father is with him. And my Father has not left me alone, because I'm doing always what is beautiful to him. And then we continue, we will find. some information about the existence of Abraham and the existence of Jesus. The Jews, they are so proud to be the children of Abraham. So he said to them, well, if you are saying that Abraham is our father, you know, they said, oh, Abraham is our father. So Yeshua, he said to them, if you were the children of Abraham, you would have done the work of Abraham. And here, by the way, this is a clear refutation for those who claim lineage of decency. You know what I mean? The Muslims and many Christians, especially many stupid priests, I call them stupid because they're ignorant, they claim that the Muhammadan and Muhammad is from Ishmael. But all of us, we knew that the Old Testament make it clear that Hajar, the wife of Abraham, she was migrated again back to Egypt and she married her son Ishmael from an Egyptian woman. So how the children will be Arab? That is the most stupid statement of a priest you can hear. But and all of them, they copy each other, you know, copy paste like Muslims. But here we notice that even if you are truly, truly, truly from the children of Abraham, that not, not, does not make you a child of Abraham. Why? Jesus answered, if you are a truly children of Abraham, what do you do? Then you would have been doing the work of Abraham. But those are really children of Abraham. Those are the Jews. Do you understand? Those are the Jews. Those are not Hindus. Those are not Roman. Those are not uh, Japanese. Those are, those are the Jews. Yet Jesus saying to them, you have nothing to do with Abraham. So the children of Abraham is the one who do the work of Abraham, not the one who was born of seed of Abraham. Do you understand? Do you understand what Jesus said? So if Muhammad is if over Abraham, he should do what Abraham do. He don't kiss a stone and bow down to a stone and go around the stones. He don't go and fornicate, rape, kidnap, torture, lie, teaching everybody to do the opposite of what God he want. If Muhammad is following Abraham, then he should know that God, he came to Abraham as a man. And he should acknowledge that. If we ask the Muslims, what do you know about Abraham? They know nothing.
Do you know nothing? And here the challenge. Who is a Muslim he can call me and tell me? Who is Abraham? Muslims, anyone can tell me who is Abraham? They do not know. Where was Abraham? They do not know. What Abraham mean? They do not know. So what do you know about Abraham? The thief Muhammad, he moved and he lived in a city, it's called Yathrib. Yathrib is a city of Jews. He started learning from the Jews about their prophets. And then he started adding those names to his book. Before that day, he didn't know Abraham. If you remember when we started our intro, the video intro, we have Abdul, we call him the catch-up boy. What he said in the video, Muhammad was not Abrahamic. Muhammad was not Abrahamic. He does not know who is Gabriel. Muhammad is 40 years old. He never heard of Gabriel. Are we listening? Muhammad, the 40 years old man, He never heard of Gabriel. How can he be Abrahamic? In fact, the guy he continues saying, the SketchUp boy, the footnote boy, he have many names, people laugh at him. He continues saying the truth. He was not Abrahamic. He did not come from the Abrahamic faith. Did you hear it? So where he come from? What Muhammad was worshipping for the last 40 years? We just heard him saying he did not come from Abrahamic faith. And Muslims... If you are going to argue with me about it, I am playing for you the catch-up boy recording. It's not me who said that. You see, we struggle to prove it, but we have a gifted person, Joe Biden. Oh, there's no sound? Oh, hold on, sorry. It's my fault. Thank you for telling me. There's no sound. Let me play it again. It's my fault. And he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He does not know who is Gabriel is because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. And that explains everything. Muhammad is a scam. And the Muslim, they lie to you when they say, that Muhammad was Abrahamic all his life. In fact, he is a pagan man. He's a liar. He's a fraud. And he is coming from the pagan, and he was a pagan as the footnote boy. He just said, read, listen. And he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> and that explained the whole story. So how a stupid pagan who do not know what the Christian believe is going to explain the Trinity. So he thinks the Trinity is God. He has have a wife. Her name is Mary. They went to Hawaii. They have sex there and they have a baby Jesus. This is explaining the stupidity.
If you ask the Muslims who is Abraham, they do not know. What about we ask them who is Allah? Can you believe it that not a single Muslim can tell us what the word Allah mean? If you go and search online right now, you will find tons of articles. Some Muslim, they say to you, the word Allah is diverted from the word ilah. But that's mean Allah is not a name. I mean, do you see that? Do you see how they don't know? They don't know what the name is, what the name for, where the name is coming from. Not a single Muslim can answer. My Skype is open. If there's any Muslim would like to call us. Mr. Don Who asking who is that who is Adam's dad? I, I don't know, Mr. Don Dan Dan uh, 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 who he's very smart. How he can be having a dad if he is the first man? Very silly of you. Who is Adam dad, brother? Adam who? You must be a who. If Adam is the first man created from mud, so who is his father? He have no father. But in the case of Jesus, he have father. For Jesus, he said, and this is why we are reading chapter 8 of the book of John. The Jews, they said to him, After a long conversation we see here, they said to him, Are you greater than our father Abraham who died and the prophets who have died? Who are you making yourself? Yeshua, he said to them, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. Anyone can glorify himself. It's my father who glorify me. And you know, all of us, we knew that man glorify God, not God to glorify man. Is that correct? The man, he glorify his God, the one he worship. Doesn't matter what God you worship. In the case of Jesus, my father, he glorify me. He whom you say, he is our God. So your God is my father. And you do not know him, but I know him. He claimed that he knew the God they worship, and he claimed that he is his father. And if I had said that I did not know him, I myself would have been a liar like you. But I know him, I do know him, and I keep his words. Abraham, your father, desired to see my day. And he saw it and he rejoiced. So now the Messiah is not only saying to them that I am the God of Abraham, who Abraham wished to see him. Well, he saw me and he rejoiced when he saw me. The Jews, they said to him, you are saying to him, you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham, they still didn't understand. Yeshua said to them, timeless truth I speak to you before Abraham would exist. I am, which means I am exist as a living God. They picked up a stones to stone him, and Yeshua disappear. Why do you want to kill him? For he just claimed to be God. Uh, Don, you see, if you want to ask questions just to be silly, 
I will block you. Who is father of Evie? I'm just being stupid. There's a huge difference between Adam and Eve and Jesus. Why? If we go to the Quran, just to get you busted, you're, people are silly, you know. In the Quran it says, وَجَعَلْنَاهُ نَسَبًا وَصِهْرًا No, we are typing in English. Chapter 25, verse number 54. The Quran confirmed that every human being after Adam have to be born either from sexual relationship by marriage or from illegal relationship out of marriage. Every human being. It's a destiny. You know, water, water is a sperm. Water is the sperm. And he made that sperm through blood, which means just sex without or by marriage. But Jesus, neither this or that, according to Muhammad, Jesus is born of a virgin. A Muslim here is trying to refute us. I don't know why he don't want to call us. That would be nice. You can call me and tell me what you are saying. I will put what he said in the screen. Maybe that will help him. So look what this Muhammad and he just said. Uh, you know, supposedly he is, I don't know, he's a Muslim. Christian Prince, you are a complete idiot. Muslims say that God cannot do something. It does not mean he cannot literally do something. It's mean he would not do something because of his principles. Principles? You see, you stupid idiot. The verse in the Quran says, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? He don't say, how I can have a son which is against my principle. He said, how can I have a son? He gave us the reason. So who is the idiot? So in order to fix the stupidity of Allah, I advise you to go and erase the word girlfriend because then you can lie and say my principles and I laugh at you when you say principle. Isn't it Allah in the chapter of 21 in the Quran says if Allah would like to have a sahiba or a girlfriend, he will take it from us? Hmm? Isn't it your God say that? This is a chapter 21, verse number 17. If Allah would like to take a wife or a girlfriend, he will take that girlfriend <clears throat> from us. What the principle, if we want to do that. So it's possible. And it's maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. But still, Allah, he confirmed that he can have a girlfriend and it's up to him. What principle? And how that is against the principle of God? And do you have the principle of God? You know what? I challenge you to call me and tell me the principle of your God. So we can die laughing. The principle of Allah, if you believe in me, I will make your penis in this. The principle of Allah will give Muhammad the power of 4,000 men in boom boom. The principle of Allah, a man, he can lie to his wife and the wife, she can lie to her husband. The principle of Allah, if Allah want to take a wife for fun, he will take her from us. And the funny look at the translation here, it says, we found it in our presence. Look at the liars. Who, who, what translation is that? A tub. <laughs> when it says in Arabic, lahwan, lahwan is a word for women. Lawan is a word for women. Equal value, value to marry him? 
Okay, hold on. I will go with you. Here we go. You see, those Muslims are like Joe Biden. Are you sure you are not uh, like Joe Biden version of a Muslim? Look what he just said. Hold on. Let me let me let me copy and put in the screen. He said now again, what is more horrible? Don't play dumb. In the context of the verse, it's mean there's none is of equal value as he to marry him or to be considered as wife. Okay, I will go with you. Guys, can we hold this Abdul accountable for what he just said? There's no one is equal to Allah to marry from. You just agreed that if there is somebody is equal to him to marry from, he will. <laughs> And that will be a wife. Let us go and read the interpretation for the verse. It's in front of us in the screen. And the Muslim, they are trying to lie so they can hide what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying it clearly. If we would like to take a wife, we will take it from us. And this is your Muslim website saying that. This is Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan saying, had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we could surely have taken it from us. So how it's not exist, he will take it from us. If we go and read the interpretation for this verse, we will even die more laughing. Chapter 21, verse number 17. And this is the Muslim's interpretation. Not my interpretation. Not what? Not my interpretation. Not what? Not my interpret. I repeat three times because Muslims, they do that. Muhammad is Trinity guy. He cannot speak the word without repeating three times. He says, Assalamu Alaikum three times. He shakes his penis three times. He is a three time boy. So if Allah, he want to have a son, what he do? Let us see a Jalalain, very big scholar. This is not Christian prince. Had we desired to find some diversions, that which provide diversions in the way of a partner or a child, we would have find it with ourselves. From among the beautiful eyed Huris, you said, and let me put what you said in the screen, priceless, thank you for sharing with us your thought. Allah will marry only, brother, if he found the woman she is equal to him. And then we find that the Muslim believe that the equal women is the women who Allah he made for Uthman ibn Fabian, the son of Nod, the son of Ketchab, to F. So Allah and Uthman ibn Fabian are equal. Because this is the same Huri, you Muslims are going to F in heaven, Allah is going to F himself, if you like. And here we ask ourselves, as long as you said equal to him, but she is a human. The Hur are a human. In the top of that, Allah make it even more stupid. He is going to if the angels. If we ask the Muslims, is angels males or females? <laughs> look, look what they said. Huris or angels, brother. And I like it when they say beautiful eyed, so they don't have a beautiful ass. This is the only thing that's beautiful about them. You, you, don't they have a vagina? What, what do you mean the beautiful eye? Hur have nothing to do with the beautiful eye, you idiot. Hur is women you can see through. Women you can see through. Because the obsessed Muhammad with the white color made him exaggerate in the promises and he is learning that word from other language. As an example, Grape is hur. Why? We can see the seed through. If we go in the hadith, just to confirm that, Muhammad, he confirmed that the women of Allah, who Allah is taking him 1,000 years to soften their skin. When, how slow is God, Allah? Somebody go to the pharmacy and buy him some Vaseline. 1,000 years to soften their skin. So Muhammad, he claimed 
that Allah is making women who their body is see-through. Hoor does not mean a beautiful eye. But how you can explain to a donkey what a donkey is saying? At the end of the day, you are talking to donkeys. So Muhammad is swear by Allah. He said that those hoor, they will be taken away their jealousy from them, which means they will be human, but any human. Their emotion, they are gone. They are just sex toys. They just no jealousy. And he described those whore by saying, who are so beautiful, transparent, transparent, which you can see through their flesh and their bones. And now this guy he is saying here. If you read the verse itself, now he don't want to read the interpretation. Do you notice that? So the Muslim, they have interpretation, but their interpretation is not interpretation. It's a false facility, false 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 representation. So do you see the hypocrisy of those idiots? When you speak something, they say, let us go to the interpretation. We go to the interpretation. They say, we do not need interpretation because the interpretation get them busted. And now he's saying to me, well, the verse itself is enough. Would you see doesn't even have to do with marriage or sex where the word in the Quran, it says, Lahu. We go to the dictionary. Lahu is a word mean women. So, if Allah is speaking of himself, if he would like to have, and you are the one who used this word. Let, let, me, let me show you how stupid you are, you idiot. You just, you see, I mean, just look how, how he changed his thought in two seconds. Isn't you who just said this two minutes ago? Don't play dumb. The context of the verse, it's mean, there's none equal value. He has to marry him. So, so you just say it in the other comment, then there's no word mission sex. But in the previous comment says no one equal to marry him. Look like you Muslims when you marry, you marry by eyes. Isn't it you who mentioned the word marriage? Less than one minute ago? Isn't it you who explained the verse to me? Yourself saying, read the context of the verse, you stupid Christian prince. It's mean there is none equal value to marry him to be considered a wife. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I say to myself, can I find one follower of Muhammad? He is not certified idiot. Just one for sake of the shin of Allah. That was referring to different chapter. You forgot? Okay, that doesn't matter. No, it, no, it's not referring to different chapter, you idiot. Where it's referring to different chapter? Are you saying that in this chapter is okay? So are you saying that in different chapter, Allah, he says he will marry if he wish? <laughs> that confirmed. So now we have two chapters, not only one. He tried to fix it now. Abdul, it's recorded. Everything we say here, people, they would download it. Why you don't call me? People, ask yourself, if this Abdul, he is not a fool, why he don't call me and make fool of me? Can you? Do you dare? You can enjoy, you can, you can invite your sheikh with you. Call anyone who do catch up business. Call your sheikh and call me. And let us see how good you are. But you are a potato.
And then, if the Muslim interpretation about Allah having wife from the virgins is wrong, who caused the Muslim to have wrong interpretation? Isn't it the Quran says, this is a book, we made it clear in clear details. So this is after the interpretation of Allah. The Muslim, they need interpretation and the interpretation is wrong. Stupidity is amazing. Why the Muslims will think that their God is going to have a wife if we wish. If he is not a male. <laughs> so look what we prove through this. In order for Allah to have a wife, many things have to be, we have to believe in then. Number one, Allah is a male. And yes, the Muslim keep calling him he. The Quran says how Allah can have a sahiba. He did not say a sahib, which means a girlfriend. Right? So what Allah he have? Allah he have a girlfriend. And this girlfriend the girlfriend of Allah we have a mistake and anyway a girlfriend is wrong it's okay so Allah have a girlfriend Allah is a male Allah he said if you wish to have a girlfriend what he will do He will take the girlfriend from ourself. All the Muslim confirm that Allah is not a female and the Quran itself confirmed that Allah is not a female. Allah is a male. If we ask this Abdul who is in the chat, is Allah male or female? The answer in the Quran. In many locations, the Quran says if Allah wants to have a wife or a girlfriend, he will do this and that. He didn't say if he want to have a boyfriend. He says, Sahiba. Sahiba. Girlfriend. And then we need to ask ourselves when Allah He said, if you want to take a partner for us from us, that means the Sahiba, the girlfriend of Allah is from the same kind of Allah. Remember, we have our friend here, he himself, he mentioned that he need to have a, find somebody equal to him, equal to him. So in order for Allah to have a girlfriend, she have to be equal to him as this guy, the Muslim, he said to us. The Quran says, we will take it from us. From what? From us. So when the Muslim did say, switch to English, the word us 
It's just a majestic statement. It doesn't mean really us. Here, it doesn't work this lie. Because if you want to take a partner, this partner is from us. Do you see it? This partner is from us. And as long Allah is speaking of if he want to take, he will find it on us. That means it is there. 